So I'm coming here over the Cuesta grade, and I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing 85 miles an hour. I'm cruising around along the left lane, just going, and I got this guy behind me just riding my ass, right? And he's flashing his lights, and he's just right this far off my butt. So he does this like five miles, like this is crap. I move over. He moves over too. <laughs> I'm like, this is ridiculous. Finally, I just put my hand out the window. I'm like, go around. Officer, go around. <laughs> I got a show to do. We don't need this kind of pressure. <laughs> but I'm a stand-up comic, and as a comic, you do a lot of traveling, do a lot of driving, and I actually was up uh, last weekend. I was in Grass Valley, California. Yeah. Anybody familiar with Grass Valley? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Up there, nice place. <laughs> Get pulled over by the Grass Valley Police Department Senior Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> I can outrun the guy in a walker. No, but I stopped. I stopped. <laughs> By the time he got to my window, he forgot what he pulled me over. <laughs> so I sold him two tickets to tonight's show. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Again. But as I was up in Grass Valley, I'm reading the paper there. This 80 year old guy wins the lottery. It was like 90 million bucks. And they asked the guy, they go, so what are you going to do with it? He's like, well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to go to Kmart. <laughs> and I'm a, 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 I'm going to buy some jumper cables. Like, Give me that. It ought to be a law. If you're going to spend it, you can't win. <laughs> I, I win the lottery. I'm buying me a motorhome full of hookers. <laughs> Heck yeah. A buddy of mine goes, if he wins the lottery, <laughs> He's going to quit his job. No, I would not quit my job. How many people would quit their job if they won the lottery? Quite a few. I, see, you're not thinking like a comic. I wouldn't quit my job. I would call in sick. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Until they fired my wife. And they feel like that's funny. Because <laughs> every little bit counts, you know. I'd be going, yeah, I, I can't get into that. No, I'm not sick. I'm fucking rich. <laughs> oh, I'm fired? Ooh. I'll have my butler come clean up my desk. Oh, not a good thing. And then my girlfriend's like, well, Bob, if you win the lottery, will you still love me? Like, of course I will. I'm, I'm going to miss you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love, love doing the comedy stuff. I have a lot of fun. And I was reading I guess, some crazy stuff, but a buddy of mine, my black friend, because, you know, we live in this county, we don't have many, so everybody has the same one, I'm sure. Yeah. So he's, he's like, he goes, Bob, you know that, that clue game is just totally racist. And I'm like, I don't get that. He goes, no, think about it. There are no black characters in Clue. And so I said, no, Stefan, you know, that'd be a heck of a lot more racist if they did have a black character. Because then they'd have to change the name to Solved. Uh. <laughs> I did that joke in South Sacramento an all black club and it went good. <laughs> I was the only white guy in all black basketball team in high school, so I have cred. <laughs> okay, I was the manager, but still it can't. <laughs> You should tell. You should tell. <laughs> oh, well, I love driving. I was in Yuba City, California. There's a great place to go. I was there last September for the Prune Festival. <laughs> great, that's a great thing. Yeah, I was opening for Eddie Money. There's a killer gig. I get off stage, I'm standing right next to the Prune Chili booth. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to pass on the Prune Chili. <laughs> it's like a double negative. <laughs> Poor gangs in Yuba City. I'm serious. There was a drive-by stabbing when I was there. But now they have Hindu gangs. They have Hindu East Indian gangs. And those guys are real. There was a drive-by cowing. Yeah. Yeah. They put that guy in the news. Like, Look at my yard. There are hamburgers all over my yard. There's a Whopper in my crunch. Like, more like a Whopper Junior. That's my time on Bob. Thanks.